the Tasmanian Standard Bread Yearling Sale, January 26, Australia Day, is uh, going to be here. Mark Barton joins me. Firstly, Barto, welcome and welcome for Nutrien um, selling him here for the first time. Yeah, it's exciting, mate. It's great to get back down to Tassie. It's a um, lovely day, a little bit overcast, but it's always, always green down here, mate, and the horses look great. Excitement level about the sale? Yeah, I think it's fantastic. I think you, you've got... Um, Racing, like juvenile racing in the state is fantastic. I think there's great incentives. Um, a lot of horses, both Vic bred or New South Wales bred, plus you know, the Tasmanian incentives. So there's plenty of reasons to um, have a look at this catalogue of horses. And Melissa Main joins me firstly. Welcome back, Melissa. Thank you. You love these interviews, don't you? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've only had a small look at them um, so far, but I think well, we looked about six or seven when we started our trip. Um, the quality on the paper, but also just the way the horses are turned out. People in Tassie are really, really passionate about this sale, aren't they? Yeah, no, we are for sure. And everyone started getting their yearlings ready. And um, yeah, interesting to see how they go a bit earlier. But no, um, I think everyone's looking forward to it. And the reason for being earlier, you guys, you know, want to fit in and um, be able to sell them and get them out onto the, onto the stage, you know, right across the Australian and the Eastern Seaboard and, and right across Australia. Um, the big thing this year was to not try and clash with other sales um and we seen this date available and it was like well we can only give it a go and try but see how it goes and but it is a friday we want to make sure people are aware of that but it's a public holiday as well so we encourage people to get down here to tassie and, and have a good look around at the same time yeah look it's, it's a wonderful state it's known for tourism but there's a race day on the same day so this will be afternoon evening so it'll be it'll it'll be the culmination of a good day's racing as well um i think what is important when you come and see the further south you go you think oh the horse will be a little bit later, but the horses look great. They're, uh, they're, they're going to be well advanced, and they'll be horses once you buy them. They'll be ready to go home and, uh, and put the hobbles on. 23 lots with a great sprinkling of stay-ins is almost one of everything, isn't it? Yeah, there are, and, the, and, and there's a lot of tried and true um, yeah, stallions represented there too. Um, some powerful mare lines as well, not just Tasmanian families, yep. but there's some really good uh, families in the mares. Last year, Melissa, you... Um you sold the sale topper. Um, firstly, congratulations on that because I wasn't actually here um, on the sale day, but I mean, congratulations on that. And it was actually the uh, first time I think Lather Up, he, he was a sale topper as well for a first season size. So that's a great, great feather in your cap. Yeah, no, I'm very excited. You know, he was a really nice horse. Um, probably got a little bit more than what we thought, but um, absolutely wrapped with it. And um, all reports, he's going really well. So. Fingers crossed. Tassie record, I think, too, from memory. And it was great to see two horses over $40,000. Um, you know, it, it proves what the quality of horse stock you guys are putting out. Oh, it does. And, look, it should, you know, continue, hopefully. Um, you know, our bonuses um, and, you know, when you got the dual eligibility and stuff like that, like... Um, yeah, no, I think it's really fantastic. And that's one of the key ports, par, points about this sale too, Bardo, that these horses are here in Tasmania, but they are eligible for the Nutrient Classic. Yeah, absolutely. You, you've got, your again, Tasmania, an interstate opportunity, and for $3,000 for the paces, um, well, in April next season, we're going to see a quarter of a million dollars for those two-year-old pacing fillies and colts. So it's great incentive if you buy one over here and, and the horse goes OK, you're... Um, into a limited field, only sale horses get an opportunity. Going to throw you under the bus, Mel, but um, prize money over here is terrific. Roughly, or I won't hold you to it, but roughly, well, like for two year old, two year olds and that stepping out, what what's the prize money? Um, so just usually just fourteen thousand for your two year old race. Um, your bonus is ten thousand with the break up of six for the owner, four for the breeder. Um, there's a five thousand dollar sales bonus for anything sold through our Tassie sale. Um, our feature races, um, uh, I think $14,000 heats in the $60,000 finals. Um, they're not big fields, you know. you got a good chance, if you got one there, of getting some really good money. I was going to throw her under the bus. She threw me under the bus. <laughs> Put on top of that now that they're eligible for the $1.25 million Nutrient Classic. Um, that will be run in April this year. These guys won't be ready uh, for that. They've got to wait another year. But, I mean, super incentives for, for anyone looking to buy a yearling butter. Oh, it is. It, it's similar to what the, we've got in Queensland. You've got incentives up there. Yep. Um, state-based state incentives. State-based incentives. Yeah. Based incentives. Yeah. You've got, yeah, the Bathurst um, sales have got incentives. And saying, so, like this Tassie catalogue, it's only small, a bit like we're saying... Um, talking about Timmy Richter going around the other day and you know, he's a Bathurst graduate, you know, yep. came out of the Bathurst catalogue and there's no doubt we've seen you know, a couple of horses already this this early stage of this uh, this trip that they've got the type, they've also got a page, you know, you've got a half to last year's sale topper, a, a lovely crunch filly. Yep. 
probably the other thing too with uh, with his sale now um, and you've got just started bringing yours in I think everyone's just started to, to bring theirs in um, getting them ready for the sale but um, people come to Tasmania for a holiday to get away from the heat if you like in the mainland um, and that. but while they're out here you encourage people to come out and call in and have a look at them Oh, absolutely. You know, they're always here, not far away, and um, I'm really happy with them. Yeah, yep. we want as many people to come. It's going to be at uh, Carrick, Australia Day. Uh, there is a race meeting on that day. It won't be the Cup, but it, there's going to be a race meeting on that day as well. It's a bit of fun. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, it'll be a really good day. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Don't forget, we have got Auctions Plus too, so people that do want a bit online, uh, if you're interested in buying, you don't have to be in Tasmania if you can't get away. Australia Day, you can have a barbie in your backyard and log in later in the afternoon and bid, bid on a horse if you'd like to. Yep, and we're 90% sure it'll be streamed live. Um, we've just got to go through the finer details of that part, but we're pretty sure we'll be, it will be on Taz Racing um, and it could be on, on all the other nutrient platforms as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Mark Barton, Mel, thank you. You love these interviews, don't you? Oh, yeah. Look forward to it. I reckon Brooke will be sitting back. She'll be smiling at this one. Oh, yeah, laughing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>